Hey, welcome everyone to this training. This is um, going to be a, I guess we're going to call this a synergy training. And I'm going to have a few of these because I, I see I have a few um, other tools that I've just recently picked up. And the synergy between Browsy and these tools is just phenomenal. And this is no exception. And I just picked this up by a great developer called Abbas, Abbas Rabji. Just close that down. I don't know if you've uh, heard of this one or seen this one. It, it does the video poking, but it does it really well. Um, it uses the API, um, but it does it where you're creating the API and you're using it on your API. So it, it's it, there's no footprint really. It's just maybe the footprint is that it's using um, this particular API in this method. Um, but I'm not quite sure if they can even tell that it's this keyword prospector, it's totally irrelevant. In any event, it's not where the API works um, globally for everyone, where everyone is connecting to the same API, basically. You have to go out and create the API. And to go out and create the API, it, it's a bit of a pain to do, as you know. You've got to go and you've got to get all of the spreadsheets together and open up and I, I, AP, um, IPs and logging into your different... Um, um, browsers and you know you know exactly what you're doing you guys if you've, you've you've got the video prospector i mean you've seen the trainings you know what you know you've you've done it you're adding it you know exactly what you have to do um those of you that don't have it you know you're probably going to want to pick this up after after having seen this synergy training here so <clears throat> i'm not going to do the video um the way that you would normally have to do it the really long way having to open up different browsers and so on and so forth i'm just going to jump in and show the synergy here it's straight into a, an account here that we already have created and this has got a gmail account and a facebook account and it's sitting on its own unique ip address it's i think it's even got a youtube account connected to it already let's double check let's just make sure that it's got a youtube account i think it does uh we'll create one anyway if it's not um, so yeah, yeah, we do. Let's see if we go straight to upload. I don't think we've uploaded anything yet. Let's just subscribe to one or two things. Yes, yeah, so that's okay. We have it. So it's all connected. All right. So, um, the developer console is the, uh, uh where's the developer console? Let's go let's just find it quickly here. Google Developer Console. That's the first place you have to go to create your API. So this is this is the pain, everyone, as you know, going and creating these and having to log in and out of all your different browsers and just making them. And then doing the authorization. Anyway, <clears throat> there's a, a cool little integration I'm going to try and get done if I'm going to get a hold of Abbas and see if he's interested, which is um, I think would be cool. Um, but l look, even if you don't, if we don't have the integration, you can still do it. It's a little bit of a hack. Um, don't worry, bosses. We're not hacking your tool. It's uh, it's just like we're hack We're grabbing. I'll show you. I'm, sh I'm going to show you what we're going to do. It's going to. It's you you're going to see how nicely they work together, and you're going to be like, wow. Um, okay, so yes, yes. Okay, this is just agreeing. You know, next thing we want to do is just open up a project, create a project, and. We're just going to call it Andy, because that's the name of this project. I mean, the name of this profile. So it's going here. It's creating um, the project up here. And as soon as that's done, that will then allow us to enable the YouTube data API. That's what we want. Um, we'll get a little, it might, a little, it, you'll get like a little pop-up, and it'll tell you it's ready. It takes about 30 seconds, so... Um, as soon as that's done, we're going to need to click this button there. Okay. So there, it's done. We've created Project Andy. We're going to click on YouTube Data API. Then Enable. And then you can go to Credentials here, um, but... This is a better way to show it because we want to go to the OAuth consent screen first. So we go to credentials here and then you click on the middle there, OAuth consent screen. And then you just add the name there, Andy. Click save. That's it. And then we want to create the OAuth client ID. And then you just click other. And then we're going to do Andy OA create. And we're done. And we're going to get our API and we're going to just add this, add this uh, guy to the, to the keyword. 
to the to the keyword uh, prospector, manage accounts, and add. There's one. Oops, wrong one. There's two. And then the API. I mean the API. The IP. We just click that button there. And here's the IP there. And the port. So I just move that over there. Um, where is that? And the port. And then we want to add the channel. Okay, so this is the hack right here. So add the channel. So this is going to then open up. Hold on. Let me just close this down. This is going to then open up Firefox with the link. And if you're already logged in, it's going to open up in your prof with your own profile. So your personal profile, and it's going to give you, and if you have a, different, a whole bunch of accounts connected to it, you'll have all the different options over here um, that you can connect to it. So we're just going to click there, grab that URL, yeah, come back to Browsio, open up another tab, paste that in, and then just go to that URL. It's going to log us in, log in, and we should get the 08th. And there you go. Allow re-verification code set. See the little pop-up here? Activate it. There it is. Save. And we're done. And that's how simple and easy it is. Um, the synergy is just insane. And all we need, I mean, the, um, the only integration would be is just to add that link so that we can open it up with a pop-up that would be... Um, that would be um, similar to this. So add projects. So we can have a pop-up like this. And then we would click on that or whatever it is. Um, or whatever or whatever it is that you want to. Yep. And wherever it is that you want to add to it. And we can add it like that and it'll open up that project. But listen, it's not the end of the world. As you can see, all you need to do is grab that URL and just open it up in your project. There's probably really no need for it. That's all we're doing. But you just get the security of having um, all of the cookies and cache and IPs and everything already there and not having to open them because I'm sure you guys who've got Browsio have got loads and loads of accounts just sitting there. And you can just go ahead and grab 10, 20 of them and add them to this in about 15, 20 minutes. And you've got pretty, pretty, pretty powerful tool there for you to just go out and just poke hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and thousands of keywords. So, um, um, you know, that's the synergy training for today. I'm going to see if I can get a, a link for the tool. I don't even have a link to, the, to get the tool just yet. I just wanted to get this out there and show you guys if you've got the tool and you have browser, if you actually have them already. Awesome. Just go out and, and, and just because I know a lot of you, the guy who recommended I get this actually has Browsio. So I know he's specifically waiting to see this. So um, let me get this out there just to you guys. And if you've got it, awesome. You don't pick it up. And I'll try and get a link somewhere in the description or in the group for you guys to get it. Um, all right. So I'll see you in the group, guys. Let me know what you think.